it all as a voice and performance coach, I wanted to address the Miranda Lambert situation. Um, and I have a few thoughts on this, so bear with me as I break it down. First and foremost, in defense of Miranda Lambert, I'm not sure if she was just kind of triggered by what's been happening with artists lately, where people have been throwing things on the stage, hitting the artist. Um, and so sometimes you kind of internalize it on that and you start to feel like an object rather than a valued person. Like, hey, wait a second here. Like, I'm up here, you know, expressing myself, giving you my all, and you're sitting here taking selfies and not respecting me. And, you know, I think it's a little dramatic as an artist, but I could kind of see if she's been hearing these different things and maybe there's word just spreading around between different outlets about that, right? So it's like, okay. Maybe there's end of it, you know, lots of different things are happening and it's like she's kind of standing up and being like, I'm going to put my foot down and not allow that to be a part of my show. So there's that. There's then the other part of it that it's like, hey, you kind of know where we are with pop culture, selfies, just our whole society as a whole, right? I've been to shows as an artist and I'm watching the people I've been in a section to and taken a selfie. Um, I think people just like to share their experience. They're excited. They're there. Uh, the picture, if you see, it's kind of like a perfect position with her. So it's kind of funny in that way. I don't think there was an intent. If they paid to go see her and paid good money, if you're in like a VFB section, then I don't think it was meant to be disrespectful for her. So I think it could have been a lot better betterly handled or if not addressed. Now, if they were being obnoxious and they were continuing to like, you know, be rowdy there and it's upsetting the other people next to them and their other booth or things like that, then yeah, go for it. Say something. Um, it's kind of like what I've done with my artists. I've taught, you know, I've worked with, again, hundreds of artists on their performance, their shows. I've taught workshops and I do an exercise called the bull bait exercise where I actually intentionally speak over them or, you know, talk to someone across the way or, you know, just obnoxiously try and stare them down or something like that. And the whole intention is, is to be able to handle situations as they come because that's where you're going to deal with this artist. You're going to deal with all kinds of situations and you have to be able to say, am I going to handle this now? Am I going to address it? Or am I just going to let it go? And so for any of my artists out there, it's a really good thing to do. You can pair up with someone and just start to kind of like throw different situations and feel for yourself. Is this something I'm address or is this something I'm going to let go? So there you go, guys. That's my two cents on the Miranda Lambert situation.